Merry Christmas. Happy Boxing Day. Or, hello you. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to a new video. I hope you had a nice Christmas. <laughs> yeah, as is still yet to come. Yeah. It is Sunday before Christmas. Sunday before Christmas. So this week, um, we're doing something different. We're going to film up to probably yesterday, Christmas Day. It's very confusing to talk about different tenses because we're here on Sunday. This is now Boxing Day when this comes out. But we've got a whole week and not Christmas yet. But you've had your Christmas. Oh, it's too confusing. How about Doctor Who? Oh, where's me TARDIS? There's my I sister. feel like Miss Platt's a TARDIS. <laughs> <laughs> it's a TARDIS. <laughs> Although, yesterday, we didn't film yesterday because we were having a... Cleaning the TARDIS. We were cleaning... <laughs> well, God, it's okay to say it once, David, but don't keep hammering the, hammer, hammering the point. Um, yeah, we had a tidy up yesterday because <laughs> dust bunnies, boxes... Um, we're not completely done yet, but no. David did a stunning job on the shower. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. <laughs> It was, yeah. We chucked out some... Anyway, yeah, so Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Welcome to a new vlog. Yeah, stick with us this week. Are we starting again? No, let's stick with us this week. I'm not sure what you're going to see. I'm sweating. In the... <laughs> sweating? It's been quite a hectic morning. We've had Tesco deliver. Yeah, more about that in a bit. That's hilarious. Um, the lovely uh, Jim and Steph from Despicable 3 and have a bit of a chat with them online and Jim did a lovely shout out to the vlogs of last week which is the, the, the two vlogs and he had a nice little gif of I think Rihanna in double denim so he called out a little bit of double denim action so I said I'd put on a denim shirt when we filmed this weekend he's breathing in yeah <laughs> No, this one is actually, this one fits because it's in the Oprah 1994 part of the wardrobe as Oprah now. Anyway. It's been hectic. I'm on holidays this week. Yeah, David's finished work on Friday. I will. I would have finished on Wednesday, just gone, but in Wednesday to come in this timeline. Oh, no wonder it's too confusing. Yeah, so we have got a bit of show and tell. Do you want, where do you want to start? Well, my mum, bless her. She's I mean, wonderful, Ian's mum. And obviously... And dad. Yeah, but I mean, my dad doesn't organise... Oh, oh, Monica. Uh, my dad don't organise stuff online. He doesn't know how to use an iPad. It rings when I FaceTime. He's like, I don't know what to do, Val. I don't know what to do. So he just leaves it. Val's his mum. Okay. <laughs> if you're wondering. <laughs> GDPR this. Too much information. But you're shouting Val. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Val? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's an impression of my dad. Anyway, so my mum has sent a few treats for us. Um... So two boxes arrived. Actually, one arrived for David, which I wrapped up for Christmas. Oh, thank you. Which you would have opened by now, but not yet. Too thank, confusing. Thank you for that. I loved um, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you will. And I loved it as well. My mum arranged for these two things to be sent. So the first one was this. A little mysterious box of white. Ooh. It did have ribbon on it. I'm now wearing said ribbon. <laughs> David's now wearing that ribbon. And this is what's inside. Oh, don't... Oh, God. Shouldn't I have done that? Well, ideally not. Oh, wow. So these... I think these oh. are... Oh, Oreos, when the bit of paper turned up, because they came from Yumbles. Sounds like Yumbles. Yeah, when the paper turned up. Oh, it says Xmas. Xmas. I think they're Oreos. We should probably try one. Oh. What one are you going to have? Can I have a snowman, please? Yeah. Are they milk free? I've. I can't remember. So they're like a little Oreo covered in. Oh, they are. Chocolate. They're a chocolate covered Oreo. I mean, the Oreo will be Do vegan. You in one go. Well, you're on camera, David. You do what you feel you're happy people seeing you do. Mmm. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, they're very sweet. It's like a shot of icing. <laughs> wow. It's a very sweet Oreo. It's delicious. It's an Oreo with ah, ice... melting! <laughs> Sun's just come out. It's an Oreo covered in icing with more icing on top with a bit more icing on top. I think it's white chocolate and icing. Do you? Mm. I just got sweet. It's very sweet. Lovely, though. She sent something else as well, didn't she? I always need to apologise because I know... Some of the last few weekends' vlogs have been like we've been down a mine. It's been so bloody dark. There's literally been no sun. It's and now today. Oh, look at that! That got really bright just on demand. How irritating! Now there's lots of sun. It's like Netflix. Yeah, so that's probably better. The original cake company is the next gift. But I was going to say thank you for sticking with us through the dark days. <laughs> I'm hoping there's a bit of daylight. Wind here four days. <laughs> Don't even go there. Right. So this is the second package. I'm still chewing. This is the second package that turned up. It's a original cake company, luxury handmade cakes, luxury handmade cakes. <laughs> Basically, it's a selection of little Christmassy cakes. From Lincoln. Yeah, they are from Lincoln. And got washing machine on the background, by the way. Mm. It's like it's in a little, little, little nest. <gasps> Look at those with nuts on. Yeah, little Christmassy cakes. Now, they have got butter in, so mm. you'll need a tablet. Well, we're not trying those now, though, are Not we? trying those now. I just wanted to show what my mum had sent, because... Mum's good. Mum's, mum's done well. We like mum. 
So that's two bits of food that we had in the post. David's had some deliveries, obviously. Can I show you? Um, when did these turn up? Yesterday, just as we took all the rubbish out. No, that was uh, Castle Collection turned up, wasn't oh. we? Oh. That, that'll be... We won't put that in the... We, we won't subject you to me opening castles on this vlog. <laughs> no, but there's a few bits and bobs over the last week or so. Can I show you? First one is Haunted Mansion Mystery Box Pins. There's two of those. Right. And then finally, we finished... If you've, if you've been following... <laughs> Bless you if you have. If you went to the toilet during those previous bits about the Fantasia pin collection, is your bladder at full? You might want to go off and have a quick tinkle while we show oh, you this. Rude. But anyway, all four parts of the Fantasia pins have turned up. Have a look. There you go. These are Haunted Mansion Mystery Box pins. So on the website, they're advertised as one pin per box, and I was like, that's quite expensive, one pin per box. How much is it? 12? 10 pounds. Those got a bit of wind. I have. It's from that cake I've just eaten. It's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, so there's two in a box, though, but they're advertised as having one in a box. So I thought we could open those. Mm. Then we've got the four Fantasia pins now. That set is complete. And I want to find a little gold frame for those because I think they're lovely. So you now got Mickey and then the three scenes from the uh, Fantasia film that's celebrating 80 years. Now, all of these pins, when I looked on the Shop Disney UK website, were still available as of today and then the last pin is a euro disney pin for disneyland paris oh and that's because they're coming up to celebrating 30 years so we're going to be seeing lots of retro euro disney stuff coming out i reckon i feel like this is a badly thought out plan because they spent years trying to get away from being called <laughs> euro disney now they're merchandising all their old marketing by calling it euro disney again so on the back it's edition exclusive 1992 it says mm. on the back. Except it's um, 2020. Yeah. Right, should we open these quickly? You can open them slowly. They've gone for a <laughs> week. <laughs> you ready? Steady. Uh, oh. I don't have any other <gasps> hands. That's a good pin. Show. So it is, I'll put a picture in, but it's the three hitchhiking ghosts. And these all glow in the dark. Oh. Uh, it's the bride. I'll put a picture in. Lovely. They're lovely pins, actually. Oh, and good news is, it's so sunny today, those those glow-in-the-dark pins will charge up in the sun, and then by three o'clock when it's gone dark, they'll be glowing all afternoon. Box two. Oh. <laughs> it's the Haunted Mansion lamp. <laughs> we need a bloody lamp in here. <laughs> These would be great for the uh, Halloween board next October. We've got quite a few Haunted Mansion pins, haven't we? Do you know how many there are in this whole collection? Eight. I, I was going to say, I think there's eight. And we've got the... Organ. Oh, who doesn't like a Sunday morning organ? <laughs> that, so we've got four unique ones. <laughs> yeah, that's so really cool. <laughs> like, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, look, look, look at them. There they're they right, are. Aren't they? Yeah. I think they're quite cool. So we've got half the set in two boxes. Yeah, that's really, really great, actually. I probably won't get any more. Probably won't get, what, 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 what? Probably won't get any more. You heard it here. Right, you ready for one more? No. It is a... Mickey and Co. Christmas Reef D23 exclusive from America. Oh no, that means customs charge. Well, I didn't get a customs charge. Oh, that means we didn't get a customs charge. But um, the, it came in this envelope, <laughs> this envelope, <laughs> all the way from America. So the cardboard on the back oh, is it's absolutely nutted. Yeah, it's not good. So it's limited. I want to open it because the cardboard's damaged anyway. It's limited edition to 3,000, 2,300. Better. Thanks. Christmas wreath. Put a picture in. There's a picture in. Let's see what it says on the back. So it's got Mickey. Is that from a Mickey Christmas Carol? Yeah, I think it's the um, it's the film we watched the other day with Scrooge, Mickey, Minnie. Bob Cratchit. Yeah, all on there. It's gorge. I love it. It's very, very nice. I think we've got a few Christmas pins, so I might make a Christmas pin board this week at some point. It's going to be a crafting week, isn't it? <laughs> you're going to be working and I'm going to be sat there playing with pins and jigsaws. You said you've, you you told your parents you're cooking me breakfast, lunch and dinner. I heard that last night. Did I? You did. Right, there's one more thing, uh, which I'm going to go get. So wait there. Okay. Is it? Keep your eyes closed, yeah. Where are you going? My eyes are closed. That's what I've got right now. What the hell was that sound? I think I might know what this is. Do you? I'm not going to say. Open your eyes. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. Is it not? No. What did you think it was? I thought it was the Mickey Mouse cake stand. Oh, God, no. I haven't got room for that. 
<laughs> but we have got room for this. Now, there's a story. There better be a story. Adventure is out there. So it was half price. So all of the park exclusive ornaments were half price. So if you bought this in the park, it was $200, 200 euros. If you bought it on the Disney website, it was £150. And for one day only, it was £75. It's not, I, I, and I thought we didn't have room for a cake stand. <laughs> So, um, it's the Up House and Balloons. Is this Kevin and Jody? Yeah, it is. The cloche comes off, hence the ding dong sound. And it's the Up House with cakes in the background. Ignore that. Oh, well, it's it's sweet. It's also huge. Which shelf are we going to put that on? Well, it might go away until after Christmas and then it'll go on the up up shelf. It's very pretty, and it will fit well on the up shelf. Yeah, if we're in any doubt we, whether we like up or not, this will concrete that. So that was all the the holy stuff. Um, there's something we want to show you that came in Tesco's today. Oh, I thought it's Christmas. Well, I'll do a Christmas ham. I don't understand sizes when you just look at a picture. So just bear in mind, it's just the two of us. This is the ham that turned up. It's a Simba ham. It is. It comes along. <laughs> The size of that. Away. Yes. <laughs> so I'm giving birth to got, Simba the ham. <laughs> we've, got, we've got Lion King ham. Look at this. Look at this. It's bigger than David's head. <laughs> and my head's big on these vlogs. Thumbnail. <laughs> Not thumbnail. And there's no room in the fridge, so I need to cook that today. I'm going to give that a go. I might even show you my ham later. No sniggering at the back. <laughs> it's, a, it's a baby ham. <laughs> It's not even Christmas Day. <laughs> but also, we got some party snack food. We've got some googly eyes. We have got googly <laughs> eyes. <laughs> oh, that will be the fun now. Um, also, got some party snack food, and you couldn't get more opposite. So look, party snack food. Look, look at the size of that. I was like, that's a tier four snack. That's a tier four snack, and that's a <laughs> tier is one a tier ham. One ham, if you're in tier one. Look, size of that, tiny. Yeah, they're snack food or party food. Tiny, tiny boxes. Ham for two. We're going to be starting a bloody college fund for it. <laughs> There's a pin. <laughs> There's my hand. Hand, ham, snack. Tiny, tiny, massive. Oh, it's got a bone in as well. Oh, God. Just smack my hand on a bone. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> We're here all week. Literally here all week. Sorry about that. You're going to cook baby ham? <laughs> <laughs> I am going to cook the baby ham. I've never cooked a ham before. <laughs> it's a circle of life. <laughs> so it's a little bit later on Sunday. We've been watching Sugar Rush back to back on Netflix. Sugar Cross. Sugar. Sugar Rush. Someone's had a bit too much sugar. They've got their own Sugar Rush for the sounds of it. It's a baking show. It's like an elimination show. It's Christmas themed, this one. Yes, it's a lot cool. of fun. We're very invested. I've changed into something more comfy to go out with denim. I'm cooking that gammon. and it's still got three hours to go. It smells very, very piggy. piggy. <laughs> very and now piggy. you're having I don't all like cocktail crisps. They're not, though. They're like some weird flavoured no, ones. Not. So we've been opening the advent calendars every day. Oh, God. So I'm not going to show you that because oh, we're not allowed to show advent calendars on the vlog. Um, but I want to show you the shelves. So these are the shelves. They've got very festive. Look, even Harry's sleeping on the job there. Castles have new batteries and they're looking fab. You, this, amazing. So we're going to continue with a bit more sugar rush. Ian's going to have prawn fingers because he's eating his prawny crisps. I might go and find some pig base crisps seeing as it smells. That's my online name, Prongfinger. Prongfinger. <laughs> anyway, we're going to carry on with Sugar Rush for a few more hours, I think. We might show you the ham when it's finished. Mm. How many hours left? Three. Three hours left. All right. We'll see you in three hours. Oh, look at old granny here. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm going to show you my meat that I cooked this afternoon. It's quite, it's quite porky. I know. Still. Stop it. <laughs> right. Oh, it does look like something out of Alien because that is very well cooked. Crackling. We're not fans of crackling. I know Keith from Cheers Ears loves a bit of crackling, but this is the meat. I cooked it for the time it said, but I think I've overcooked it. But you know, there's only one way to find out, and that's to eat it. Right. No, not to fight. Um, right, so we're gonna have dinner, and then we'll probably see you at some point in the week because this vlog is gonna continue all week until Christmas Day. 
So we've done nothing today apart from watch telly and cook a pig. See you in the morning. Bye. Morning. Hello you, it's Monday. <laughs> it is Monday, welcome to a new day. Ian is, I like this chair, it's like I'm on a turntable. Ian is working away. And I'm he's... doing um, Tracy Cheers ears, I'm taking care of business. He's doing the business. Yeah. I'm in a film noir, like, oh, <laughs> my face is so dark. Um, so this is where I normally work on this computer just here. I'm off today, so I have started editing. I think we've said before that most of the time we use iMovie. So this is yesterday's footage and I've just dropped it into the timeline one piece at a time. Got a coffee, which is a quote from Cinderella, some crunchy nut cornflakes. Oh, David's got himself breakfast. Just, I mean, he's made me a cup of tea, but I do remember you speaking to Paris yesterday saying you're gonna cook me breakfast. I'm gonna make you something. I'm gonna make you something. Just saying, it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock, yeah, that's the other thing. It's 11.03. It was so dark. I mean, I woke up at 20 past nine. I start work at half past nine. <laughs> I got to work on time. Um, but I came in here, it's so, so dark. Mm. Today is, yeah, it's brightening up. It's but the good news is, after today, there's more daylight. Oh yeah, today's the shortest day of the year, sort isn't it? Shortest day of the year. Yeah. We, got, we made it. Ian's mug is all about having a conscience. I'm not sure you gave that to me. <laughs> And we're going to burn today a candle called Christmas Spice, which we got from the uh, manor. What was that manor called? Roxy Manor. Roxy Manor, yeah. There's something uh, to do with Lego arriving today to help display some of the advent calendar stuff. So I'm quite excited about that. Ian doesn't know anything as about that. As long as it's not bloody Diagon Alley. Ye if it is, I blame J.D. Baker. <laughs> Yeah, that was it. I was like, you know what? After all the news this week, I'm just going to blow it and <laughs> just spend 400 quid on Lego. <laughs> yeah, I wish. No. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to chill out for a bit. I'm going to edit a uh, bit. Uh, no, I'm, I'm working. I'm <laughs> yeah, chilling out. I'm chilling. I'm going to make him some breakfast. And uh, we'll see you in a little while. And then we'll let you know what a candle's like because it's well fancy. It's got, like, little bits of sweet in it or something. Don't know. Anyway, catch you in a minute. Do the business, Ian. It's lunch time. Oh, another healthy lunch for Christmas. You've been working hard, haven't you? Been doing Fighting the business. with Zoom. <laughs> it doesn't work. Can't sign me in. Anyway, true story. Um, we've got lunch is chips, egg, and ham. And the ham is what Ian cooked. That's my pig over the weekend. Mm. Quite happy with that. You tried it? No. Try it. Oh, there we go. No one wants to see me eat this meat. Mm. It's good ham, isn't it? So we're going to have lunch. I've got Harry Potter on at the moment and um, they're being... And the washing. And the washing machine is going full blast. We're being taught our owls. It's the Order of the Phoenix. Um, so I'm going to sit and watch that while Ian finishes work. But um, yeah, let's have lunch. It looks yum. So it's a few hours later. You finish work? I finish work. We've had burritos for dinner. Vegan burritos. They're well nice. Big bro burritos from Tesco. Super. Thoroughly recommended. Very recommended. I spent the afternoon doing a jigsaw, one of the castle collection jigsaws, the Snow White castle collection jigsaw. I've done most of the outside, I'm missing one piece, and I've started a turret. I think mm. you call them turrets, the spiky bits. Mm -hmm. Turrets. I mean, you've got that joy to come this week, but, <laughs> but there was promise of Christmas Day at the end of the week, so stick with it, stick with it. <laughs> I've reached one first day off and I'm doing jigsaws. <laughs> I don't know. We'll do something more creative tomorrow. But we are watching. Um, I'll show you who we're watching. It is Dawn from the Disney Grown Ups birthday today. This one is Dawn. This one is Gary. I and mean, these are some of their friends. So we're watching their live stream. We're having a drink. I've had a very relaxed day. We even at one point was watching um, Wizard of Oz. Yeah. <laughs> Which I've not actually seen in one go. I've seen the whole film, but never in one sitting. I think it's very underestimated. Underestimated. It's very underrated. underrated. They're just the performances when they're doing the Yellow Brick Road. So Back good. In, it really it is, is really good. good. It's a classic for a reason. It is. It is. So, rest of the evening, we've got to carry on watching Dawn and Gary's live stream. We're probably going to have a few drinks because it's Christmas week. We normally wouldn't drink on a Monday to Friday, well, Monday to Thursday. But I think we're going to crack it open. Oh. And have a drink. And have a drink. I might have an early night because I'm actually exhausted. Yeah, I'm a bit tired. Yeah. So we'll see you in the morning. Bye. Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Ian's already doing the business. <laughs> yeah, I'm still working till tomorrow. <laughs> he's double damn them. Single today. Yeah, single. How did you sleep? Well, 
I slept really well. We we went to bed late as we always do. Two o'clock, started yeah. that crimbo limbo late last. We started that crimbo limbo late night eating half midnight last night. I had four pickled onions, some ham, uh, and an ice lolly, and I had something else as well. I had the right munches. I didn't. I was asleep on the sofa. <laughs> yeah, David dozed off during MasterChef. But uh, yes, it's Tuesday. What are you doing today? Well, you just said Muppets about to start, and it, well, you wasn't talking about me. <laughs> it's on telly. No, about us. <laughs> it's on telly. So I'm going to watch Muppets on telly. I've literally just woken up. Um, I'm going to watch Muppets on telly. Yesterday, this came. Let me show you. A Lego display stand arrived. I'll take that off. There we go. So I'm going to use that today for all of my Lego advent. Yeah, so gonna watch Muppets and maybe make some breakfast. I'm not, I'm doing work. Um, he's gonna work for eight hours. I wanna sit next to him. Try not to be irritating. Failed it. So we finished watching the Muppets. Wait, what? David's finished. I thought it was very funny. I really enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it? From what I saw. It's very good. I've not seen that one before. I populated the Lego stand. There we go. It's the uh, Yule Ball. Might put in a photo so you can see it properly. So that's your ball, and then the is it a cloche? Sheath. Sheath goes on top. So yeah, let's build up a little scene. I think that's quite cool. Quite like that. So next on the plans for Tuesday is I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna come out. I'm coming out. I'm gonna come out and um, cook some lunch. Lunch time on Tuesday. We are having curry. Of course, that's what you have. Well, you have that after Christmas, don't you, when you've got a load of turkey to use up. But we are having having a holy cow uh, deli tikka masala. Now, we love holy cow because, look, nothing's in bold. So they have no allergens. They used to have this one only with milk in, but they've reformulated it in the last couple of months. So we've got a chicken tikka masala, which doesn't actually have any milk in, which is great for us. So that's bubbling away. We had pre-cooked chicken pieces, which we just use all the time now. So chopped up the chicken pieces, kind of fried them off because I wanted them to give a bit of colour and yeah, added the sauce. And we also got full green rice, uh, cauliflower and broccoli rice. And that's got a bit of curry sauce on the front, apologies. So that is just heating up. I'm gonna fry that up in there while the curry cooks. So that's lunch today for Tuesday. Meanwhile, David's editing some Harry Potter footage from Universal Studios from last Christmas Eve, where we saw the Harry Potter projections on the castle. And that's either going on Facebook, the vlog, and or we might stick it on YouTube. There'll be details of that somewhere below if it's available or where it's available. If you should be interested and you want a bit of Harry Potter Christmas magic fun. It's a few hours later. Yeah, since then, David's uh, put together that um, the Universal Harry Potter video, that's gone up. Um, Ian bought me flowers. Thank you. There you go. Some Christmas flowers. Oh, can you see them? Yes, yeah, Christmas flowers. But David's made a little bit of picky snackage. Because, well, neither of us were that hungry. So I thought it would be nice just to have some food on the table while we watch TV and chill out. It, we don't have to eat it all now. We can just stay out for the next few hours and we can just graze. I thought. I'm going to stuff my face because I'm now I've seen it, I'm quite peckish. Look what we got. So we got um, the ham that Ian cooked. That's the pig that I the cooked. Famous, the famous Simba ham. Pig number one. <laughs> That's a lot of pot pie, we won't eat all of that. Yes, you will. Some, uh, what do you call them? Gyoza. Yeah. Or pop stickers. Pop stickers. So I fried some of those up and steamed them. Um, some carrot, some hammy crisps. Oh, cool. See the theme. Pig. Pork stuffing. Sausage rolls. Been warmed up. Lovely. Loads of pickled onions. Oh, I've got, I've got several pickled onions. And some hummus. Yeah, so we're going to have a bit of a picky. And then, um, it's not what? a huge amount. It's not very healthy, but... It's Christmas, Christmas week. week. <laughs> right, and we'll be back later once we've stuffed our faces. Yeah, probably put on some YouTube. Oh, and some weight in the meantime. <laughs> Hello, it's Christmas Eve Eve. I'm working. You can tell it's Christmas because I'm having fruit pastels for breakfast. And I'm just making a cup of tea. Uh, David's not quite up yet. It's just gone 10 o'clock. As well as working, I'm also watching a documentary on Channel 5 about chocolate. They're deep frying um, Quality Street. So final day for work for me. Very exciting. Weather's really grey and horrible. We've got lights on already and it's only 10 o'clock. Although I should say, the Christmas, light tr the Christmas light trees? The Christmas tree lights we've had on pretty much non-stop for a week. I haven't turned them off. It was on a timer and then for some reason I think we pressed the wrong button and it wasn't and then we just turn them on and they've been on there ever since and I think well you know what it's Christmas it's dark it's miserable it's 2020 so 
yeah, let's just keep the lights on the whole time. Go finish my cup of tea, get on my work. Hopefully that'll go quick. I've got about seven hours left. And um, you'll see David when he gets up. Morning. Someone's been awake for a while over there. He's doing his work. How's it going? I've been up for a little while. I've had my coffee. Edited yesterday's footage. That's all done, ready for this vlog. And I thought I'd share this box with you. So yesterday, this lovely box arrived. And this is from Fantasy Sense. They contacted us and asked if we wanted some um, gifted scents. And we declined because I think at this time of year and with everyone struggling, it makes sense to pay for things. But anyway, they smell delicious. Not that I'm going to eat them. But look how nicely they're packaged. There's their card. So they're on Instagram. So should we check them out? They're all Disney inspired. So let's have a look. Actually, I tell a lie. Some of them aren't Disney. Some of them are Harry Potter. That one is Christmas at the Weasleys. Mickey's Traditional Christmas. Bidden Forest. Pineapple Whip. Sweet Treats on Main Street. So I want to smell the Weasley one. Ian's working, but I might whiff it under his nose. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, that's well sweet. Oh, that smells like Pez. Oh, I like that. What was that? That's Christmas at the Weasleys. I think we might burn that today. Oh, smell that. Definitely pineapple, yeah. Like, that's like you've opened a tin of pineapple. So that's fantasy, fantasy scents. And they're on Instagram. Very nice. Lovely packaging. So you're gonna put the um, Weasleys house on? Weasleys going on, I think. Nice. Forgot to say that those five were 20 pounds. So I don't think that's too bad. Value for money wise. Um, it is, what time is it? About 10 to 2, having a late lunch. Um, when we had food delivered this week, there was no room in the freezer for a lot of it, so I had to take out some random Tupperware. So we've got random surprise lunch today. We've got these. Two little Tupperwares of leftovers. I think this one could be a stew. That doesn't look great, but I think it's because, well, it's been frozen. This one I think is a chilli. Yeah, chilli. So David's gonna have chilli. I'm gonna have stew. So the food delivery this week had something in that I've wanted for ages, but it's been out of stock until this week and it arrived, but it arrived with the seal broken. I don't really fancy eating food that has a seal broken because I'm not sure if it's broken in transit or broken way before it got on the van. So uh, nobody wants a gippy tummy just before Christmas. So that I've claimed a refund on and it's going in the bin, but look at it. It's a Christmas trimmings bake. Parsnip potatoes, carrots with pork stuff in, chipolatas topped with shredded Brussels sprouts. Look, we really wanted that. However, we do have most of those things, obviously, because it's Christmas in two days. So I think I'm going to do my own variation of that tonight for dinner. But lunch is going to be random Tupperware surprise lunch from the freezer. David's hanging up Christmas cards. That is what David's done so far. Oh. We've got a few on the back of the door, but the door's covered in laundry, so you can't see those right now. So yeah, you can't see the ones on the back of the door because there's laundry and I'm purposely making sure you can't see what's there. Oh, we've gone from really bright to shadow again. Unbelievable. Right, I'm still working. Um, hence my desk looks like this. That's where I, that's the hole that I vacated. <laughs> I've had to move the kids off the back of the sofa because I was on a Zoom call just a minute ago. So I was right, one is a beef stew and one is a chilli. So that's David, that's mine. Right, let's play it up and see what it's like. Thank you for lunch. Oh, dark again. This, this sunlight is like in, out, in, out. The okie cokey rather Shake than weather. it all about. Yeah, Look. interesting to have random f freezer lunch mm, once I, in a while. It was really spicy. I really enjoyed it. My beef stew. Oh, just what I needed on a cold day like this. So we've got the laundry going and we're just doing house chores for the next few hours. So probably see people later. Well, I'm still working for another three hours and then later I'm going to do that, um, a variation on that Christmas tray bake. I'm yeah. excited for that. Yeah, so we'll probably see you for the next meal. <laughs> so as uh, the washing machine's in its final cycle, <laughs> hello, um, I made afternoon coffee. This is a Disney Hong Kong mug. I love this mug. Ian's mug is a Dumbo mug. Oh. And here are the afternoon treats. Caramels in the middle, Florentines on the side. Business at the front. <laughs> a bit of coffee at the back. <laughs> a bit of coffee at the side. <laughs> anyway, how many hours you got left of work for 2021? 2020. 2020. <laughs> 2020. Two and a half. Two and a half hours. I'm watching for in a bed. Um, so we'll see you at the next meal. <laughs> <laughs> gonna make that Christmas tray bake, even though it's Christmas dinner in two days time. So I'm gonna parboil some potatoes. 
and some sliced carrots. So I've got the water for that ready. So they're gonna go in. And then the potatoes are gonna go in the oven in a tray with some oil for about 20 minutes. After that, I'm gonna then chop up the leek, add that to the tray in the oven. The carrots will go into the oven at that point. A quarter of that onion, that'll go in. Brussels, Brussels sprouts. Now look, for some reason I ordered ones which need to be bloody cleaned and de-leafed rather than prepared ones. What a bloody idiot. I need to chop those into halves and they all go in the pan. Also, pigs in blankets, they're gonna go in the tin. And I've got some stuffing that weirdly has to be used by today. Oh, maybe yesterday, but it's not gonna kill us. Or if it is, well, this is our last vlog. So that's going to be chopped up and go in the tray as well. Uh, so that's going to go in the oven and then towards the end I'm going to add in some chicken stock and peas for the last 10 minutes. So parboiled potatoes and then you'll see me chuck it all in a dish. So the potatoes have been in for about 15-20 minutes so now it's time to add all the other ingredients. So I'm going to go for veg first, just going to chuck them in. Ooh. I'm going to give that a stir before I put any more in. So that is the red onion wedges, parboiled carrot slices, leek and brussels, little mini pigs in blankets. Oh, they've stuck. Damn you pigs. Shake your pig. The pig fell out of his blanket. Hang on, need two hands for this. Right, the bacon around those pigs was very flaccid in its wrapping, so I had to rewrap them. Quite irritating noise you can hear in the background washing machine do the tumble dry right and the final thing is the stuffing so you use the whole tray of stuffing oh no this is not going to end well is it with one hand in you go run away there you go stuffing balls made of pork chestnut and thyme so i'm just gonna mix that again that's going back in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes i probably think it'll be longer because there's not a lot of room in that tray, is there? Oh, that's irritating. We'll come back to it because I need to then add, um, what do I need to add? Oh, stock, and then some peas. Although I've got no peas, so I've got mixed vegetables. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, I need to do salt and pepper. Although I'll probably just do pepper because I think the stock will make it salty, as will the bacon. And I might even put in some crushed garlic as well. Okay, then that's going back in the oven. So it's been in for about half an hour and it's looking and smelling amazing. But there's one more thing I need to do, and that is to add, well in theory it's just peas. I don't have peas, so I'm gonna use mixed veg. Vegetables mixed, stock added, then back in the oven for 10 minutes, and then that should be it. Right, we'll see you when it's finished. What's that you say, dinner? You're ready? Yes, I can hear you talking to me. So that's it, the Christmas trimmings tray bake. Gonna serve this up and then David will see it for the first time and then we'll try it and I'm hoping that it tastes good. So I'm waiting for me dinner, like a very patient man. I believe it's on its way. On the table we've got apple sauce, cranberry sauce, mint sauce, very saucy indeed. Okay. Well, that's your plate. <gasps> Holy camoly, that looks amazing. I'd like, to con I'd like to congratulate myself. I'd like to claim it as my own recipe. It's not, it's Lisa Faulkner. You know, uh, she's married to John Tarrod. Uh, she married, they married. Yeah, Lisa Faulkner. Um, I got it from the Ocado website. Christmas tray, Christmas trimming, tray bake. Lovely, should we try it? Yeah, give it a go. Oh, delicious. Is that? A bit. A bit of broccoli from the mixed veg. Hmm. Tastes like Christmas. Oh, good. It's Christmas Eve, Eve dinner. When did you see us last? We were having a tray bake. That tray bake was lovely. I enjoyed it as much as you did, I think. It was a very <laughs> big plate of food. Sorry, don't catch you off guard then. You did. <laughs> uh, it was lovely. Um, since then, we've watched a bit of telly. We've had tea. We've had cake. I've had booze because I was cooking. Oh, have you? Yeah, with a little cocktail. Um... Watch Motherland on BBC Two. If you've Brilliant. never seen it, catch it on iPlayer. Timber. Very, very, very funny. <laughs> very, funny. very, very funny indeed. Just put Master Chef on. Yeah, second half. I'm probably going to have a bit more food in a minute. And then I spoke. I spoke to my parents. Oh. Uh, they're all fine. Um, and tomorrow is Christmas Eve. Woo. Might go for a walk tomorrow. A bit of fresh air. Depending on the weather. Possibly. Should we see everyone in the morning? Yeah. Three, two, one. 
Happy, Happy Christmas, Christmas Eve. Eve. Hello, you. It's the 24th of December. It is. My glasses are filthy. It's so bright in here today. You can see us. For a change. If I sit back like that in the sun, uh, so I'm being sheathed. No, I'm being... Shielded. Shielded by the Christmas tree. Being sheathed by the Christmas tree is some other thing. That <laughs> we'll leave that to Santa and the elves. Uh, um, what are we doing today? We well, both need to shower, shave, get Christmas ready. There's another S in there <laughs> that needs to be added as well. Um, haircut, obviously. Breakfast. Yeah, we've not eaten yet. It's a time check, 11.15. Um, I've not been up for long. I've edited all of this week's footage up to this point. It's 37 minutes, so that's about Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. <gasps> so we better wrap this up <laughs> <laughs> no we better edit that a bit more <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that on boxing day we're gonna oh go, oh bin men bin day <laughs> we're gonna go for a wonder we're gonna get some fresh air because uh we need to walk off some of the food we've already eaten make space for the food we're gonna eat but also i can't remember last time i left the flat so i need some fresh air so we take the bins out because you remember i showed you that broken tray bake that we got from our suspensers i put that in the bin stupidly and the Brussels and everything is starting to smell. It's quite grim. So that needs to go in the bin. I mean, luckily it's going to sit there now for a week because the bin men have already been. So that's not my problem. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. It's been a big week already. We're starting that salad tasting. <laughs> Here's a spinach leaf. Right, should we get ready then? Let's do this day. Well, you say get ready. I'm drinking a cup of tea and I think you're making yourself a coffee. I've got coffee. Oh uh, yeah, so we ain't going anywhere just yet. Probably the next time you see us, it'll be dark because we've done nothing. Oh, I've also got wrapped David's presents, so Ooh. got a lot to do today. How long will it take you to wrap? Well, I mean, considering there's only 13 hours till Christmas Day, I'm not sure there's enough time, David, oh, or enough paper in the world. That's good news. <laughs> good news, thank you. <laughs> good news. <laughs> right, finish with tea. <laughs> 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 oh, it's so like bright. recreating true blood. All right, <laughs> oh, he's melting in the corner. Um, we're going to go for a walk. David's just done some mining, and I just realised he'd put his hat on my head about ten minutes ago, and I hadn't really realised. Um, so I just went with it. Sometimes it's just easier. I got some of these in the week. These are anti-fog cloths, so they're supposed to stop your glasses or your lenses if, if you're using it on a camera, for instance, in. Uh, Florida when it's all steamy from steaming up because so I'm hoping when we go out my glasses won't steam up and we'll see if it works. We're outside. Look, this <laughs> is what Christmas Eve looks like in Peckham. <laughs> it's quite busy actually. Um, it is. There's quite a few people in the park today. Well, actually that doesn't really help. There isn't anyone in that shop, but there are a few <laughs> people no around. There's no one in the park. There's no one in the park. You, you exaggerate all of the time. Oh well, look, there's people running towards us. Look, joggers. Joggers and dog walkers, not doggers. My anti-fog thing for my glasses is kind of helping. It worked for about five minutes. Yeah, it's working, but not perfectly. But it still feels better than not having it on there. So I think I'll probably do that next time I go out. So also, we're going to do a five minute walk. Do a little walk and then we were debating where to get fish and chips. But we feel like that's too long a walk and also we don't really need it because we've got a lot of food mm -hmm. although we both want fish and chips mm -hmm. but it's too early to go for it now so we know when we go back in it'll, we won't want to come back out again so <laughs> it's noisy isn't he right i'm gonna put the camera down because my hand's really cold and i can't hold it so we'll see you in after our walk <laughs> after we've had a covid shower at home so we're home we're no longer cold that was a very cold walk wasn't it brisk What's brisk? It's bracing out there. It's bracing, I tell you. It's now, what time is it? What time is it? It's about five o'clock. So we come home. I've had a shave and cut my hair. We both had showers, took the rubbish out. Those leftover tray bake, broken Mark Suspenser's dinner thing. Ooh, we came home. Talk about nose blind. Bloody stank in here. So that's all gone in the bin. And has the recycling. So yeah, we are about to have a cup of tea and some snackage. Look, cup of tea. Cherry Bakewell, jerry, jerry, jerry. Uh, one of those little Oreos that my mum sent. Uh, some, what are they? Dark chocolate fingers, and that's a ginger and orange Florentine. That is the Cherry Bakewell from Poitros. You know the ones that we've been trying? Yeah, it wasn't just for vlogging, and it was we were trying for Christmas, so we've got more of those, so having those. Uh, David's appeared next to me. Hello. Hello. Um, once we've had tea, what we're gonna do, once the washing machine stopped, we are going to film a little thank you to everyone on the Facebook group, all 782 of them. Then we need to decide what we're having for dinner because we're not going back to the chippy because we're not having three showers in one day. I reckon it's going to be chips, ham and egg again because that was a good meal. 
I might have Keisha in mine. Uh, anyway, we'll decide that and you'll see. And I need to spend a bit of time wrapping his presents, so I need to disappear to the bedroom at some point and do Santa's that. Santa's already been. What? These are some presents already down there. Yeah, there are presents under the tree. Look, very grateful. Santa's made a little early stop off. And we're burning some Christmas Eve candles. Uh, when you say some, look. So we've got a Yankee candle Christmas Eve. Yes. We have... Oh, helicopter. We have the one we got from the garden centre, the manor. And we've got one from Tom and Jane. Did we not get one from the garden centre in Southampton? The one that was called Christmas Eve, that was the orangey that's one. That's this one. Oh, that's not from the manor then, that was from... Oh, uh, this was from Southampton. Oh, yeah. this was from... I thought we had a fourth candle to burn then. Oh, this one's delicious. There's a there's an array of smells in here, and it no longer smells of Brussels. Yeah, that that tray bake, <laughs> not the one I made. That was delicious, but the one that was damaged in transit, not good. Twenty past seven on Christmas Eve. Can you hear Santa? Santa, you come in. Oh, no, oh, too far oh, away. Oh, oh. oh might be here. Um, this we... looks amazing. So. No fish and chips for dinner, but we've got a dinner of, well, we've got two different dinners. Look at that. Ham, egg and chips. Also, that's that needed to be used today, hence we're sharing that. And what, is, a couple of sausage rolls. Is it turkey or uh, chicken? Chicken and stuffing. Nice. I've got quiche, chips, salad from the 70s, a bit of ham and some uh, chicken with stuffing. Mmm, delish. Thank you so much for doing that. It's all right. So that's dinner, not fish and chips. Um, this but, is just as good, I think. A bit more room in the fridge now. So we're going to have this, and then, I don't know, we're going to watch a bit of telly, I guess. Not seen any telly today. Yeah, I think we're going to chill out, have a drink. Might, might toast in Christmas. I think we'll catch everyone tomorrow morning, won't we? What, Christmas Day? Yeah. Yeah, all right then. So we'll see you in the morning. Merry, merry, merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> merry Christmas. <laughs> it's empty. It's an empty glass. I'm going to open it up. So, yeah. The taste testing. Remember those? Every week. <laughs> We've got the uh, amaretto and cherry fizz. David's about to open that and freak me out. Oh. We've got salmon bagels. Nice. Cream cheese and smoked salmon bagels. Toasted. Oh. Smoking. Amaretto and cherry fizz. We hope you've had a very nice Christmas. What did you get? What did you get for Christmas? Leave a comment. Um, we've opened our gifts. We've were very, very, very lucky. Um, I got more than I ever thought I would get. Thank you for my presents. He did well. I got Lego. Lego's banned from this house. <laughs> like, we're not allowed Lego sets. Because <laughs> there's no room. But I got Lego, I'm so excited. I'm an enabler. <laughs> we'll show you a few bits later, but you don't need to see what we got for everything. But very, very lucky in terms of what I got. Christmas Day morning, parrots are chirping. We've got a bit of breakfast. It's into Radio 2. <laughs> I've got to do some potatoes because we're not going to eat until late. It's yeah. like traditional Christmas, everything's running late. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Love you. Love you too. Oh, Oh, that's good, isn't it? Now now reduced on a cardo. It's down to four pounds, this. <laughs> Ian's got dinner on. How's it going? We should be eating on Boxing Day, I think. I've just been working on the thumbnail for this actual episode, which wasn't too hard work because most of it was already done. So here are a few... Here's a favourite thing. thing. Some of the presents we got. I'll give you like a like a, a whisk tour. A whisk tour? Whistle stop. Whistle stop tour, that's the one. So we got some palm tree lights. They were from the lovely Josh and Lauren. Thank you, Josh and Lauren. We got a red teapot, which was on the wish list. I got Ian Kinky Boots. Yes. We got some Harry Potter confectionery. Some hot chocolate for the Velvetizer. Our secret Santa from the um, Disney YouTube Secret Santa group. From Trevor Magical. And Thank it turns you. into a pen pot. It's really cool. Like, yeah, we're quite excited to build that. And that's Traveling Magical. Thank you so much. It is really cool. Thank you. Oh, I should also explain why well, I've got this. Okay, I mean, I'll let you explain. David got this for me. But also, where are we? Got himself one? So they were from Sunset Creations off Etsy. So I decided to wear it. Because I'm a cast member today. David's not, because he's got his bobble hat on. I put my bobble hat on because I thought it was a bit festive. I could stick it in my bobble hat, though, couldn't I? Oh, yeah. What's that? Because you may recognise these boxes from previous vlogs. It's incredible. It's a lovely day for a Mary. For both of us, in fact. <laughs> Look, this is... Oh. So it's the Kevin and Jody. Remember Kevin and Jody? Mm -hmm. They did the other ornaments we got at Mary Poppins. Uh, they also did the props from the new Mary Poppins film. They're part of the Imagineers. There's this amazing snow globe, and it's got a wind up. Mm. 
I bet. That's going to play now for 10 minutes, isn't it? So... <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> so the plan for today is just to uh, just to relax, isn't it? We're going to have some food later. We'll show, you, we'll show you dinner. But uh, we're not up to a great deal. We're just chilling out, relaxing. <laughs> Do you like that? I love it. How amazing is that? It's massive. It's like the Eiffel Tower. Very impressed by that. Ooh. The best present. What you got? I got. This is Ooh. my main gift from David, which he had a lot of trouble getting. What is it? It's a load of numbers. Well. It's me doing my maths. <laughs> these are the coordinates of the place we had our first date. It is, yeah. And that is when it was. Yeah. In June 2010. That's a true story. Yeah. How lovely is that? How thoughtful is that? It's just like a little thing to mark the occasion. It's not a little thing, it's massive. So the plan is for that to go above the telly on the wall, which may go up today, it may not. See how we feel. It's definitely going up in the week. But that, I was really touched by that. Oh, and also, I'm glad you like it. He managed to hide it. <laughs> so I'm glad you like your gifts. Thank you. I, I love my gifts. I love mine. My Lego is cool. I'm You'll be doing surprised. that later. We we'll carry on with the jigsaw puzzle. Got a jigsaw puzzle. Edit this vlog. Edit this vlog. So I'm going to carry on drinking my amaretto fizz. I think I'm going to put another bottle in the fridge. Oh, we're just going to chill out, aren't we, for a few hours? Well, I've got to go and cook a chicken. I'm going to chill out for a few Thanks hours. <laughs> So Christmas dinner is ready. Thank you. We were supposed to sit at the table, but we weren't We weren't really organised. So we sat down in the usual place that we've been for the last nine months. I had nap naps. David's had a little sleep. It's not even at his lunch yet. <laughs> I was uh, doing stuff on the vlog, uh, doing dinner. Yeah, dinner's ready. This is what we got. It's just chicken, roast potatoes, parsnips, carrot. Yeah, you know what roast dinner looks like. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. You're welcome. Um, I look forward to you farting out your parsnips later. Ooh, I am stuffed. Stuff a rude. Thank you so much for that wonderful. Still got dinner. some leftovers. It's bubble and squeak, isn't it? I don't think it's enough for bubble. I think it's just going to be just pick it when you want it. Really stuffed. Don't want dessert. Not yet. Oh, we've got sticky toffee pudding. The vegan one for Marks and Spencers. There will be dessert later. But not right now. We have got an afternoon of messaging to do. Watch a bit of telly, relax. I might take a shower at some point today. It's yeah. not like Christmas. I mean, it is dinner. Christmas after all, I should do. <laughs> Thank you so much for spending your time watching our week. Thank you to everyone who subscribed this year and yeah. has followed along this year. It's been really, really incredible. We're really appreciative. Really surprised that so many people have joined us for these We're Sitting in the Dark at Home vlogs, but. Uh, each of their own. We've enjoyed doing them, even though we don't really do much. We look better in the dark. <laughs> I certainly do. Also conscious, these are really long as well. These are longer than we were expecting. Because you know what? I'm waffling. I waffle. That's why they're long. I'm doing right it now. again. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we might drop a vlog. I <laughs> say drop one. This is parsnips. We might drop a vlog <laughs> midweek before New Year. But basically what we're saying is thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. We really appreciate the time you give up every week to watch this crazy rambling so there's one last thing to say and that is cheers, cheers and merry, merry christmas. christmas we'll see you next time take care bye bye alexa wish me a merry christmas <laughs>